And one of America's most recognizable butterflies is at risk of extinction. The International Union for the Conservation of Nature has added the migratory monarch butterfly to its red list of threatened species. Michelle Guile shares how we can help these endangered insects. It's hard to believe that certain populations of the monarch butterfly, with their recognizable orange and black wings, could soon be extinct. I think it's frightening. But that's what experts are saying. If something isn't done to save these graceful insects, whose numbers in California are in steady decline. In uh, the 80s, we had over 10 million of them. And in 2021, when they did the count, there was only 2,000 of them. Today, the International Union for Conservation of Nature put the North American monarch on the endangered list, which is two steps away from extinction. Mostly because of the destruction of their overwintering habitat, which is in Mexico. And, you know, there's problems that they'll have making the trip um, into North America and then back down into Mexico at the end of the year. So they have, there's a lot of uh, things that they have to run in terms of gauntlets. And the milkweed problem is another key issue, according to horticulturist Sarah Smith at Rogers Gardens in Newport Beach. So this is a Sclepsia fascularis, so that's the botanical name. Saving the monarch is a high priority here. <laughs> Educating people that there's a right and a wrong type of milkweed for the garden is key to not killing monarch butterflies. A microscopic little protozoa that is growing on the milkweed that is endangering them. So it's, a, it's getting into their bodies and it's actually killing them. So it's a parasite, essentially. And it's all because we have been planting the wrong kind of milkweed for so long. The prettier tropical milkweed sold in bright colors, orange, red, and yellow, is a big no-no. Native milkweed with creamy white or pink flowers is the food of monarch butterflies, and it's what should be planted in California gardens.